Bert. Hello everyone, my name is Bert, and sometimes I wear... Hey. Hey, hello. Down here. Hey. There we go. Hello. I already did the intro, so you don't get a second one. Someone recently asked me what I thought about 3D printed blasters. So let's talk about those today, huh? If you haven't kept up with modern science and modern nerfing, let me tell you about 3D printed blasters. They are blasters made using 3D printers. It's really cheap, it's really affordable, it's real cutting edge stuff. Everything you see behind me, that's all Hasbro stuff and it's not 3D printed whatsoever. But now we have people who can design their own things and make them using 3D printing. Let me show you a few examples. This is a bit of a hybridish thing from a Falcon Fire, but there's a completely 3D printed shell over it. This is called the Spamp from Gavin Fuzzy. So it uses existing parts and 3D printing. This plastic feels okay. It doesn't feel anywhere as good as what a Hasbro puts on the blaster. Unfortunately, it's uh, not, not a great start to the design. Here's your uh, standard Elite Dart. What the heck? It doesn't work the same as the previous one, so I've lost all of the previous functionality of the Falcon Fire. Now I can load it through the front. I could also, I guess, load it through the breech, but I have to bend the dart, and that's no good. I feel like that's a bit of an oversight. And this does, I suppose, advertise that it can take magazines now on the bottom, but let me show you. I have a bit of a <laughs> problem. I'm not sure if you tested this or not. Here's your standard Nerf magazine, you know, official from Hasbro, says Nerf. It's not fitting. Why would I want to lose the original functionality of this blaster all so I could make it look a little bit different? Supposedly take magazines and also pay over 50 United States dollars just for this. This is the second wind from Seayard Nerf. Very similar. It's a big shock plunger tube right here, and then all of this you see in green and white is 3D printed. What's the problem with it? Well, you may know the Big Shock originally fires mega darts. This doesn't fire mega darts, guys. Look at that. Yeah, see, I looked right down the barrel and I can confirm there are no mega darts. Now, this could take these uh, standard elite darts. It's a little tight and it seems to work, but I can't shoot megas anymore. Why would I want this? This seems like it's completely unnecessary. And you're saying I have to rotate the thing too? I have to... Ugh, I can't prime that either. You may say that's a problem with the original design, just throwing an extra spring in there. And I'm weak, but no, I'm gonna blame the 3D printing on it. Now, again, the 3D printing feels okay on this, but when I feel the plastic from Hasbro, oh, it feels so much better. So why would I want an inferior quality to mess up my originally perfect blaster. I've gotten some comments on this recently. This is the Magpie. Does it look a little familiar to you? Huh? You seen one of these before? Yeah, this looks a lot like the Ultra 2, huh? So not only did he steal the general design from the Ultra 2, in my opinion he just kind of made it worse. The Ultra 2 fires Ultra Darts, which we all know are pretty good, and it's about $25. So a very affordable price point. This one is so much more expensive than that. Oh my gosh, it's three figures. And it doesn't take ultra darts. Furthermore, I don't know what this takes. So, um, hang on, I gotta figure out how to, there we go. I had to push this latch on the side. So now I get the, oh shoot, I could load these darts in here. Um, does not seem to be working. Uh, oh boy, I paid money for this, guys. Unbelievable. I don't know where I'm supposed to put my double A's either, similar to the Ultra 2, assuming he copied everything the same. Oh, so somehow this connects to the double A's. I'm not sure if I put them in series or parallel. I'll have to get some electrical tape for that. Again, yeah, the, the price point for some of these things is just 
really ridiculous. What creators need to understand, and I don't think they fully understand, is that people can't afford all of their stuff, and they should be able to. I should be able to sell this to an eight-year-old who has no idea how to operate it, and he should be able to, or she, should be able to purchase this and go have a fun time and not care too much if they break it because of their own incompetence. We need to lower that barrier to entry for every single person on the planet in order to improve this hobby and expand it universally. Some people tell me that the cost of something like this handmade is appropriate because it factors in the initial design times, the prints, the reprints, tests, the spec tests, the actual components inside, like the flywheels, the motors, the time to wire it, the 3D printing itself, the cost of the filament, requiring to operate a 3D printer, dialing in your printer, testing at that point, sending me the item, reasonable things that might go into a price tag from someone who makes it themselves and is not a massive company like Hasbro. Yeah, well, I don't buy it 100% for small creators. They need to just eat that cost because they need to put the needs of the many over the needs of the few or the one, the ultra one. It looks a little different than what I've shown you so far, right? That's because it's a Nerf Elite Alpha Trooper. Feel that nice, solid injection molded plastic with the jammed front. This is Hasbro quality. Now, I'm gonna show you something. Let me know when you spot the difference. Looks pretty similar, huh? That's right, it's almost the same thing, even though this one has a stock and this one doesn't, and it's a different color. Basically operating under the exact same style. This is what's called a talon claw. You prime it back, and it's already harder to prime, so why would I want to use that compared to something that's easier to prime? And then you put a magazine in, and I hate to beat the dead horse, but here's a Hasbro mag. So you're saying that just because I can optimize the colors in this thing to what I want, just because I might break some of this and then I can replace that part without having to replace the entire blaster, that's also a plus. And the fact that this can fire like at higher velocities, that should also be a plus. You're saying that that should go into a higher price tag than like an Elite Alpha Trooper or any other Springer platform that Hasbro puts out? I'm not too certain about that. 3D printing, it's a novel idea, but at the end of the day, I think that the people who use it to make stuff are just taking advantage of people who don't fully understand it, and it's just, it's making it harder for everyone. I wish they would stop making some really awesome stuff because it's just hurting everyone. I don't know if this video can be considered satire if some people actually think this way.